Greetings, I'm Lies. And I am Scandal. And let's, let's play a game together. together. Holy shit. All right, so this just came up, and as we've been discussing all the offers as they show up, here's another one. Roberto the pig, right near the end of everything. And again, there's no connection to anything. Like, this is what the game opened up to. And not only do I have a problem with the fact that his front feet seem to be on a plane, but they're way above where his actual booty is. Well, is it because is? the legs are too short? So it's just sort of sitting there back on its haunches, even though I do not know any fucking pig that actually has the basically anatomical structure in order to be able to sit on the hind <laughs> quarters. It does not... Pigs Roll do not have sitting butt. abilities. They don't have booties. They it's don't fine. have butt. Anyway, so we're just like, it's another thing that's offered that, you know... Just doesn't have any connection to the game itself and i don't know where that pig would be if or we got it along or... or yeah or what it would be attached to yep and they so, just um, have a pig if at any point in any future somebody sees any of these videos and they go i bought one of these packages we would love to hear what where the animals go and again we're not encouraging anybody to do it because it is definitely money and no no it's just I... if you were gonna do it or did do it Anyway. Yes. It's not, please go and check this out. None, yes. none, none whatsoever. Yeah, please. Uh, oh, look! More free time! Ah, we'll just, we'll just work together with just... the spirits of our ancestors. I get it. It's fine. All right, so Larry's having a time. So, okay, so the last episode, you guys. Yeah. Okay, so we had to blaze on through that. But both of us, I have to say, I, I don't think I'm wrong, are pretty angry. We are. Both actually. of us are a little bit upset about the direction it went. We've had a lot of thoughts on talking about it. And we're going to do a grand wrap-up review of this thing the way we've done in a couple of our other games. Mm -hmm. So we will cover our thoughts in detail in that. should be about 15, 20 minutes long. So you can see that once we finish this series. In the meantime, in reference to this announcement... I'm having a hard time believing the response of your four people that are considered to be your actual friends just go back to talking to each other and don't interact with you at all. Mm -hmm. Because oh, yeah. Mr. Jones interrupted to speak to the speak. Like, like he, he was speaking out loud for everyone. Yeah. He didn't quietly take you aside. And all of them listened and were engaged until he finished. And then we went back to the four people that you consider to be friends all sort of looking at each other and not engaging anymore. Yeah. I... Dog is very happy for you, though, and I appreciate uh, what is that. Cousin Larry and doing? I do not know. I think that's probably outrage for Cousin Larry, or it's the yay, now you can sell it to us. I'm not sure. Yep. Don't but know. we're going to find out, guys, because we had to sign the deed, and we are halfway through this day. Holy oh crap. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Mm, hi, wow. Like, a little, little over half. All right, everyone but... comes back in again, so whatever Louis was, or, or sorry, Larry was doing is unaddressed. Yep. Here comes the briefcase hand again. Permanent accessory time is very important. Um, I can't believe I'm actually doing this, signing the deed to the estate. And I'm so overwhelmed by all of this that I'm not even questioning your motives or what all that was or why it happened or you being such an obtuse weirdo the whole time. Or my entire month of stress and overwhelm and concern as to whether or not I would succeed. Deed! Yay! Wee! Insert your own subtext here. Yes. But here we go! I, does this mean you'll now be responsible for all incurred property taxes? I love the fact she held it in her hand and then she handed it back. And then poof! Hand on. There we go. He's just going to repeat that briefcase gesture as long as we leave this here, isn't it? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, forever. Yep. All right. And done. The fact that none of her friends are speaking to her at all still really bothers me in this scene. <laughs> like, there was a very brief breeding of, of them and then nothing. And especially with ensuing drama, it makes no sense. Whoa. Feels unreal. Not even sure what to say right now. Or do. Or... I... Wobado! That's what you do. Yes, excellent. Thank you. Wobado! I, uh, I was gonna say Regina and Rachel are unmoved. They're like, we're glad the three of you are excited. Good, good With for you. decorum is all the importance for us it's for reasons. Fine. Reasons. Mom also not reacting is impressive too. Like has you, nothing to say. You go, girl. So proud of you. So I. You got manipulated and everything by my grandpa the whole time! It was great! Yeah, that's what I was hearing you were proud of me for, and I was kind of like, you're proud of me for not actually understanding this the whole time and being basically controlled until I succeeded because of other people's wishes? Alright. Thank you, too. Thanks, you too. You too. Which two? Luke and Regina, I guess? I don't know. Thanks, you too. Don't know what I would have done without you. I'm assuming it's them, then. I, I'm assuming I'm so, I'm assuming. Too. Talk to Philip. There's no reaction from the aggressive <gasps> peanut gallery. <laughs> I... Don't okay. worry, they'll be given their own section. I'll talk oh, to Rachel. Oh, and Rachel. 
But nothing from I don't know. Okay, okay that's fine. fine. This is this is weird. I am confusion. I will let it roll. I what? Ah! Leaves the entire party. We just made a huge freaking announcement. Now I'm gonna go have a private conversation with you over here by everyone, and none of you will comment on it or interact at all. Nope. This cool. is this is really they were like we can't animate everything. It's a huge, huge pain in the ass. Also, we can't hold a conversation with several people talking for reasons. Even though in the Easter event they did have four people in a conversation, mm -hmm. and they haven't really done that much here. No. In fact, actually, one of the interesting things I've thought about this game is I was like, oh, cool, the Easter event seems to be kind of interesting. That's the only fucking event we've seen. It's Since true. playing this game for, what, like six months now? Yeah, somewhere in There's there. been one event. Yep. The On rest of them all been buy-in. We haven't encountered any other major holidays during that time. I was kind of curious to see if they have a Christmas event. All like, right. I, I, I am lightly curious. But it's okay. All right. Looking for squirrels, Mr. Jones? Because that is totally the next logical thing to say after what just happened, Perfect. I guess. Why, yes, I think I saw the delightful little creature peeking out of his nest, waving a wrench at me. So basically what happened was announcement of failure, interruption of you succeeded, one round of, hey, good job, and then he walks away and she leaves the entire party without saying any other word to anyone else to go talk to him. That's what I'm getting. Yep. And... Uh, that feels weird. Like, I'm not even going to nod to anyone else here because we've pretty much established that not a lot of talking goes on off screen. Yep. Like, all right, wrench. Brilliant. Miss Roberts, I have to apologize for our little deception. I appreciate that, that... he's going to take a minute to apologize, but I don't know if that covers it. Also, I don't know if that's going to help with the amount of trauma or abuse or basically the amount of pain, her hurting herself. The stress, the anxiety, I'm like, fuck you! I understand that you've been stressed out and worried for your livelihood and your success for an entire month, and that is basically all my fault, but I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but it was a necessary deception. You understand that we had to make sure you truly earned it, that you deserved it, Miss Roberts. But you were invested um, so you wouldn't sell it. Yeah, fuck. I fixed it up to sell it. Fuck you. What? But now that everything is resolved and you are the rightful owner of the estate, I have important business to discuss with you. Is it real business that's actually legal? You just told me that you were dishonest to me, and now you're telling me we have business to discuss. Thanks. I'm just gonna say that while I'm super happy that that's over, I, you have not set up a strong foundation of trust, sir. Uh-huh. Like, More seriously. business? Yes, and listen closely. There is a man of great wealth and power who has shown a keen interest in purchasing the entire La Rosa estate. So this is basically, now we're going, we haven't dealt... With the big bad, yeah. He's Mr. probably going to be the next 30 The next days. arc, yeah, yeah, into the other piece. Also, but I he... fucking don't care, because I'm not going to be playing it. We also have to talk to the other lawyer as well, and find out if there's any thing we need to do for the rest of the estate, which certainly we would need to sign and receive that. But again, if we just inherited that straight out, the fact that he hasn't contacted us, sent us anything, we got nothing in the mail for yeah. 30 days. Mm -hmm. Like, here's the will and testament. But it isn't the whole inheritance dealt with. Usually there's those things that are supposed to be dealt with, especially if you know the contact of the people. So we could argue maybe that the lawyer's been trying to track her down this whole time and has somehow failed to track her down the entire time, even though the other lawyer found her just fine because he was more connected immediately to that part of oh, the estate. I don't know. I, know. I would say, but, like, that's weird. Hi. All right, hmm. estate. You're talking about Leonard Ritchie, or should I say Mr. Rich. The very same. I expect him to make an appearance here sooner rather than later, and to offer you a rather large sum of money. Will it be larger than the entire value of the estate and the inherited properties that go with it, such as the um, book rights and movie rights? Right. Under no circumstances are you to accept his offer, Miss Roberts. Mr. Ricci can never own this land. So you are saying that I'm sorry I controlled you, but I'm going to control you again. You can't sell this place, or at least I guess you can't sell it to him. And that is just a stipulation I'm telling you with no legal grounds of any kind. You just can't do it. Uh, okay. Yeah, pretty much. You must understand that Leonard always wanted to get everything Arthur had, but he had to learn that there are some things money can't buy. Oh, my God. He wanted his life, Rich his family, flex. his comfort, his love, his, you know, connections, his experiences. But what he was was deeply unhappy and dissatisfied his whole life because you can't buy those things. So he wants to buy the physical property instead in hopes of bringing himself happiness. Sounds really unhappy. And we're not going to give him the property because I want to live here now. No, because morally you can't give it to him because he needs to learn that happiness can't be bought. Except I, for the fact that people you know, do that sort of shit all the time. 
I, oh my god. You can't guarantee that's the lesson he's gonna learn from me not selling to him. Uh-huh. Just so and you know. Also, you don't even know what lesson he needs, air quote, to learn. Right. Like, also, that you would be an authority to insist that people need to learn, and they need to learn a specific way, like you've done to us. And a specific I not, thing. I'm completely so fucking unsympathetic to this. This is bullshit. Like, this just makes me mad. I am I, quite unsympathetic to the idea of, he needs to learn this, and well, you need, I guess you needed me to learn that I have to be invested in this property, and can't can't sell it, but you're also not convinced that your ruse worked, even though that's what I needed to learn from the whole venture? When Arthur fell sick, Leonard tried to win Mary's heart to finally make her his after all those years. Oh, oh. so we have the jealous force. So he's the one that was in the car? Yeah, we already mentioned that. Though. I was that was Leonard say, with, it, with Arthur. Yeah, but I, I was, was like, say, so he, he was jealous. He wanted Mary the whole time. Because went, Len oh. I was joyriding with you. And Leonard you was the Chad! You put me in the friend zone. He was. She okay, put so sorry. Me in the friend um, zone. So, uh, uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, basically what it was in that image, for what I remember, is the the smaller, basically more, what it would be like is not more masculine looking gentleman in the picture was Arthur. The yes. other one who was basically more masculine, more more conventionally jock. attractive. Yes, the one uh, that, that Holly was went. Oh yes, a man. Yes, men that, look like this. Yes, and that, Leonard is continually confused his whole life as to why society hasn't paid him out what it has promised in the um, toxic masculinity he has embraced. Right, sounds great, and also. I beat you in the head with a thing, and not that people, yeah, I don't know. It's fine. Make her his after all those years. All his wooing and courting didn't help. She still picked me over him. Um, <laughs> one, Lily has this really affectionate, like, you scoundrel kind of look the whole time, but also that same kind of, like, sympathetic of, yeah, we're being abusive, but I forgive you to this, so she doesn't have enough facial expressions, I'll just say again. But also, like... You're still being like, he needs to learn his lesson, but also I showed him. Ha ha, I got the girl. She still picked me. You, you fucker are, this, you're still engaging in it. You are going, he's doing things wrong, but you're, yeah, you're still jockeying against him. And that's yeah. kind of rude as hell. I, fuck. I, dude, really? Ha, ha, so glad about that. I'm glad she looks sarcastic there. That helps me. Leonard was furious when he found out. I, well, you would could. Say, I, what I will say is that toxic masculinity doesn't usually help people understand their realities and or understand what it is, how the, like, like helpful ways to get what they're after. I was about to say it does, though. It gives you basically, though, a certain prescription for basically how to run your life and what your expectations actually are. So I don't think I agree with that. It's okay. just the fact that basically what it is, is it's a level of basically entitlement to other people's experiences and what you expect to receive in turn from them. It's not about, you, you know. You don't think that's specific to toxic masculinity? You think that's just stuff? No, no, no. I think that that's part of it as well. But I'm saying like that it's it's not like it. It's not all of it. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Fair, fair. I mean, and sometimes I try and say things and I have to generalize. Otherwise it'd take like 30 minutes to explain the concept. That is so real quick <laughs> lesson and things that happen all the time. We've actually had this discussion as well. Um, I don't know necessarily if we've had it on screen, but it's also another thing. Yes. Sometimes I totally get you. There is a thing that people go, yeah, well, I need to remember to point out this thing. Well, what about this thing? What about this thing? It's like, there is a time limit sometimes that people have, and they're mm -hmm. trying to be as general as possible to have as much access as possible. Yes, could our language be better, and we could, we could we have better points? Absolutely. But that's but, why it's like also that we need to basically pick and choose times. In this case, it sounds like he's going, he's behaving poorly and, you know, needs to understand the world, and then going, you just made a stupid juvenile jab back at him like, ha oh, ha, I won, which suggests that you're no better than he is. Yeah, no kidding. All Especially right. in regards to the fucking thing we did, but it's fine with the, the event. Mm -hmm. He swore one day he would turn Mary's garden into a golf course and wipe the name La Rosa off the map. So he said he would murder me and my mom because we have that name? Mm, yeah. He's going to marry us off and make us take someone else's name. Got it. That can work. <laughs> There's that's, also the fact that... That's quite a scheme. <laughs> either that or, again, rich person politics. Because mm -hmm. you have a name tied to an estate. Mm -hmm. Because that's the only way anybody's name belongs to anything. Yeah, I'll say the like, name doesn't exist. Like, this is such a rich person argument to have. Wipe them off the map. No, like, seriously, when somebody says something like that, if you're poor, you're going... Oh my god, are you gonna murder me? But if you're somebody who's like, I actually have like a state and power and yeah, title like, and lands and deeds. You will no longer have your name on shit. That's what that's more about. Which is hilarious. Yeah. But also, yeah, we are going to such high levels of wealth here that it is sort of ridiculous. Uh -huh. And I'm just like, well, there we go. On the other hand, it's like, what's wrong with that? 
things get, I mean, golf courses are a huge freaking waste of water. Oh, like water and, and land and resources. Say, and yeah. they could be so many better things for the environment. Uh-huh. I would say, but like... Okay. Buying someone else's estate and changing it to something else, I don't find anything inherently wrong with that. Also, I'm thinking fantasy epic bad guy here going, okay, so in the Aberat series by Clive Barker, uh, teen fiction, um, you get, there, there's this experience where somebody is jaded and gets turned down by the love they want and they decide to do, you know, marry, that, that, that love interest marries someone else, right? Right. And what he decides to do is hire a dragon, big ass gigantic dragon to eat them on their wedding day, you know, in, in sort of basically retribution. And I'm getting the, ah! I will destroy everything she loves. So on a scale of, ah, oh, damn, they dumped me too. I will stick a dragon on you on your wedding day. How jealous is this guy? <laughs> like, it sounds pretty, that, pretty jealous. jealous. He's, he's closer yeah. to dragon. He's like, I will level everything you ever loved and turn it into a golf course. There's also the thing that pisses me off because I'm like, in my opinion... The La Rosas aren't doing anything really interesting with this estate either. Like, we could complain about this as well, going, you're not sharing this, you're not making any more, you know, like, vegetable gardens, you're not there. hiring people. This, this this just exists to look pretty. Mm -hmm. Like, you want to talk about him being wasteful? Fuck these guys. They're being wasteful, too. You know, right. it's just a different way of doing it. Uh-huh. And this is this this might be that level of dragon, because, again, it's irony because of Arthur's injury with the golf course. Oh, yeah, with that's the golf ball. Like, that's, that's pretty good. I'm like, he is, we are getting that Mr. Rich is, like, epic level bad guy right here. And oh. I kind of love that uh -huh. because that is the most theatrical thing they may have done in here so far. I they're finally committing to their narrative. Bullshit! Let's yes. do it. Let's do it. Over the top, high fantasy. All yes. right. And then Lily, who has a patron god and is essentially a D and D character, but in a garden, is going to then have to fight the big bad, and it will be fantastic. And everyone can run this campaign. It'll be great. That'd be you awesome. You need a campaign that's located in one area. Here we go. We got it in a box for you. It's called Lily's Garden. Yay! Yay! I would be for that. That'd be fun. That could be super fun to actually do would be like you have to accomplish all of these arbitrary tasks because someone's lording basically wealth or accomplishment over your head and then you find out there's this arbitrary big bad guy in the background right all right <clears throat> at golf course after what happened to uncle arthur that's uh that's low indeed leonard always knew how to hit where it hurts uh no need to worry philip I love this place. It's become my home. I won't sell a single square inch of it, especially not to Mr. Rich, providing I get all that other inheritance money you were talking about, because otherwise I really won't be able to afford to live here. I will literally go into default and I will have to basically sell the place Because I will off. not be able to pay the land taxes on this at all. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> People seem to forget <sighs> that fucking aspect. I. That's like the thing where everybody goes, I want a new car. Okay, y'all, if you win a new car, guess what you're going to have to pay on that new car in order to keep that new car in the United States. You have to pay a ridiculous amount in terms of insurance. And taxes. Period. You also have to pay taxes as if it were a cash price. Uh-huh. It's really bad, actually. So if you win a $200,000 car, you have to pay taxes on it as if you'd won $200,000 cash, which you didn't win, so you have to have that money for yourself. Uh-huh. Isn't that nice? No pressure or anything. On the other hand, if you're prepared to do that, you're like, I had uh, $50,000 sitting in the bank, and now basically this car cost me $50,000 instead of $200,000. Nice. Uh-huh. If you like and want that car. Cool. Mm -hmm. But it's it's a complex thing, winning stuff in America. Right. That's very good to hear, Miss Roberts. You know, I was quite surprised myself when I realized Mary had acquired all of the old estate. She never told me. Yeah, she kept secrets from everyone. As far as I know, you weren't special. That's sort of <laughs> wild, actually. There are a lot of stories about that place, but they will have to wait. I am tired now. Time to find a bench and watch the spectacle. I, when you say the old estate, you act like I should know the term, the old estate, which we have no context for at, at all, all and no precedent. Thanks, yep. though. Of course. Uh, thank you, Philip, for... I am so downtrodden that I'm just going to say thank you for everything, because what it is right now is I don't realize how bad any of that was, because life just goes that way, and that's how it works for me. Thanks. <sighs> it sounds perfectly reasonable. Where's your bench, dude? It's that fun. is not a bench. You are acting so senile. I'll just stare at this tree, seeing if it will turn into a bench. Bench tree. Why? <laughs> if a bench will appear in front of me. Oh, perfect. Well, let's talk to Holly, which I assume will also include the two people she's standing next to, but we'll find out. Hi. This is the weirdest party like, I everybody am. just standing over there waiting for whatever this is. Blaine's now meditating in the garden. So. Like, honestly, I really do have to say, like, the level of this game started going, this is a disempowered, manipulated woman who has bad self-esteem. And guess what? We've ended in the same place. She's a, she's a manipulated, disempowered woman who's basically being forced to do shit by people around her all the time. Like, I am genuinely annoyed by that. Yeah, there's very, very little progress made in her character but everyone did move around you can see people in different places now right so uh go ahead and close it hang on let's see okay so we, so got, we got rachel them. and karen 
They're still talking, of course. Oh, wow. Look at Regina. Regina's just like, I oh have my, my gun. I will do it. I Where am is... telling all the oh. stories. I told you she's meditating in the garden. Blaine is with a dog. Yep. All right. Well, we're mm. going to wrap up this episode, my bros. <sighs> all right. And we are almost there. Oh, my God. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us. If you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and also share our videos if you're having a good time with us. Please feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi or Patreon. I've got some links in the description down below. And I have been Scandal. And I have been Lies. And, and it was, was great, great playing, playing with, with you. you. Bye! Bye.